Okay, here we are with the end of our tale of Despero, chapter 52. But the question you want answered, I know, is did they live happily ever after? Yes and no. What of Roscaro? Did he, did he live happily ever after? Well, the Princess P gave him free access to the upstairs of the castle, and he was allowed to go back and forth from the darkness of the dungeon to the light of the upstairs. But alas, he never really belonged in either place, and that's the sad fate, I am afraid, of those who hearts, whose hearts break and then mend in crooked ways. But the rat, in seeking forgiveness, did manage to shed some small light, some happiness, into another life. How, you may ask? Roscaro later told the princess about the prisoner he had once, who had once owned a red tablecloth and the princess saw to it that the prisoner was released, and Roscaro led the man up out of the dungeon to his daughter, Migurisa. Mig, as you might have guessed, did not get to be a princess, but her father, to atone for what he had done, treated her like one for the rest of his days. And what of Despero? Did he live happily ever after? Well, he did not marry the princess, if that's what you mean by happily ever after. Even in a world as strange as this one, a mouse and a princess cannot marry. But reader, they can be friends. And they were. Together they had many adventures. Those adventures, however, are another story, and this story, I'm afraid, must now draw to a close. But before you leave, reader, imagine this. Imagine an adoring king and a glowing princess, a serving girl with a crown on her head, and a rat with a spoon on his, all gathered around a table in the banquet hall, and in the middle of the table, there is a great kettle of soup. Sitting in the place of honor right next to the princess is a very small mouse with big ears. And peeking out from behind a dusty velvet curtain, looking in amazement at the scene before them are four other mice. Mon duo, look, look, said Antoinette. He lives, he lives. And he seems such the happy little mouse whispers Lester. Criminy, says Furlow. Unbelievable. Just so, says the Threadmaster. Now, well, I don't know what that word says. Oh, sorry. Just so, said the Threadmaster Hovis, smiling. Just so. And reader, it is just so, isn't it? The end. But wait, there's more. It's called a coda. That means the last thing after the end of the story. So here's the coda. Do you remember when Despero was in the dungeon, cupped in Gregory, the jailer's hand, whispering the story into the old man's ear? Well, I would like it very much if you thought of me as a mouse telling you a story. The story with the whole of my heart, whispering it into your ear in order to save myself from the darkness and to save you from the darkness, too. Stories are light, Gregory the, Gregory the jailer told Despero. Reader, I hope that you have found some light here. The end. <laughs>